Greg. Nice to have you here and uh, happy 1st of December. Today it's actually uh, Romania National Day. Um, it is. Yes, uh, we celebrate that. What? Uh, tell me more. What? Uh, what's that celebration about? Uh, so it's National Romania Day. When actually Romania got um, so first, um, we were three territories: Moldavia, Transylvania, and um, Romanian country. Let's say. Um, and uh, I'm not sure if I got the proper translation, but in English. But I think that's how it is. And then they unified in. Um, 1st of December, uh, 1066 or something like that. I can't remember exactly under Mihai Vitazu, which is one of our famous, um, um, let's say at the time, uh, leaders. So uh, today it's actually Romania National Day. So happy 1st of December. Great. And, happy Romania uh, Day. I, I'm, I'm always excited about Romania. <laughs> oh, thank you. And then I guess with this, it's also the first day of the holiday season, which are all excited, but sometimes can also be stressful, um, right. stressful with food, stressful with shopping for people, stressful with uh, um, what am I going to prepare for dinner? What am I going to do? Yeah. What are my plans? Right. So here yeah. we are. Thank you so much. Just a small and uh, quick and sweet holiday um, edition, which um, yeah. we thought that will bring some um, guidelines to our um, viewers and listeners. So, Greg, first of all, I would like to ask you, um, what are your plans for this um, holiday season and how are you trying to kind of balance the stress of um, eating a healthy diet, but also to enjoy? Yeah, interesting. So uh, it's interesting how we're, we're, our discussions of nutrition and health and the concern people have eating too much over the holidays and so forth, but and that's combined with too much stress. And for people who study metabolic health, it turns out that stress is a huge, you know, you find these glucose spikes that people have caused by stress. So how do you manage stress? And uh, I'm not sure I have great answers, but one, I was just thinking as we were, I was preparing for this, I'm just so grateful. I'm just so grateful for so many opportunities to be, uh, to be alive. Uh, um, one of my close friends passed away just a few days ago. Uh, and it's, it's just so sad that, you know, the international struggles and so forth, but we have so much to be grateful for. And the holiday season is when at the time you think about that, I was thinking about stress. How do you relieve stress? Well, one way you listen to holiday music, you know, you put on a song and it's just a happy song. It's a song of the, the season and your troubles sort of melt away at least for three minutes when the song's on and then maybe they come back. But anyway, so how do we manage stress? There's a lot going on at the holidays, but we just have so much to be grateful for. And, you know, for Christians, it's a super important time of year. For, for people that aren't Christian, it's a great time. The, the free market capitalists say that, gosh, this is a time of year where everyone's focused on making other people happy, producing goods, giving, you know, all this stuff. So it's a great time. And um, that's great, actually. Um, just wanted to add to this uh, in terms of music. It's nice because for me also, I remember when I was a kid and uh, we listened to Christmas carols, um, like Romanian traditional one. And one of our, our tradition was to go with our parents to Christmas carol concerts, which uh, were actually so sang by Romanian and orchestra and they were so so nice and it was always that time of the year that we were looking forward to it so it's funny that you kind of mentioned this because it bring me really yeah. great memories um, memories out there and uh, what do you what would you recommend or what what would you do during a um, Christmas meal, you know, because you don't want to stay there and just count your calories or just looking into the plates and just feel bad that you can't eat that and that you also have to enjoy. And as you mentioned, this holiday is also to celebrate that you're good, you're healthy and grateful. So yeah. how, what are your small tips, recommendation, if you have some for, for well, us? Well, first, before I forget, let's have a link to Romanian Christmas music that we can put under. So people who want to click and watch a YouTube. I will do that. Yeah. I will send that soon. Um, so one of the interesting things about uh, uh, nutrition and healthy uh, diets um, is the sort of back and forth between uh, uh, feasting and fasting. 
you know, a tradition, if you think about a holiday, you have a holiday feast, you have a gathering and people come and they eat, you know, maybe too much, but they eat a lot of different things. It's feast time. And if you look at, you know, in the, the other side of feast time is fasting. And people don't talk about fasting much, but in the Bible, fasting is mentioned like 60 times. Uh, it's a part, in fact, in, in the Church of Latter-day Saints, when there's a crisis of some kind, it, they're taught to naturally fast. They just stop eating. And there's a lot of people that talk about the clarity that comes from fasting. When you go, and you don't have to fast for a long time, but even a fast for 18 hours, even a fast from dinner to morning is breakfast. You know, you have your, you break the fast with your breakfast, but a day fast or a two day fast. I mention that because holidays are time of feasting and feasting is okay. And part of the, and I think Advent, you know, different, different times traditionally were times of fasting that were followed by times of feasting. So I don't have any nutritional advice to give on, you know, people, you ask me about Christmas meals and I'm saying fast, don't eat at all. No, you, there are times for fasting and feasting. And in terms of your health, it turns out to be hugely beneficial to go a time without eating. Um, who knew? So. Right, right. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's funny you mentioned that because it's also for us, for example, um, so the religion in Romania, mostly it's Orthodox. And we do before Christmas, um, we do um, fast. Sometimes we do fast. There are people who choose to fast for one day, two days, or even sometimes for three days in a row, um, or people who are actually doing these, um, not fasting, but um, eating just certain um, certain food that they're allowed um, to, to eat um, six weeks before. And they do this not for counting calories or anything. They just do this for religious beliefs. Yeah. Um, and then, as you mentioned, it's the, time, it's the time of the year where you celebrate and feast and enjoy with your family. And I just want to jump in here. Uh, for me, not that I, I have, um, I have uh, too many advice either, but uh, to be honest, for me, it's the time of the year where it's not all about food. It's all about, and we, we as European don't concentrate only about food. Of course, it's an important thing, but it's not about this. It's about gathering with family. It's about taking time. And I remember how I spent, if you ask me how I spent last Christmas, I literally took my skis out and I went for cross-country skiing and I tried something new. And I was um, grateful and feasting with my friends that I was healthy enough to do that and privileged enough to experience that. So um, if you were to ask me, I would just say, Go out there, um, find a nice activity that you enjoy, get some fresh air. Um, it was actually um, researched and discovered by doctors that uh, when we, um, and we said we don't talk about uh, counting calories or anything, but just as, as a fun fact is that we actually burn more calories during winter um, because it's the cold air and uh, our body also burns calorie when we have to um, affront those change of temperature between warm and warm um, and the cozy coziness in our house yeah. and getting out there and uh, playing with the snow right so yeah. that's something that you can also take into consideration if you're really worried um, yeah. about calories but also enjoy eat small amounts eat Try everything, but just limit your quantities and uh, watch out for your quantities, as, as I always say. And try your activities with your family. Enjoy uh, Christmas carols, Christmas music. Uh